witnesses will be as follows. Follow. David Grush, he's a decorated former combat officer who served in Afghanistan, and he recently told the World News about his experiences serving on a UAP task force led by the U.S. Navy from 2019 to 2022. Commander David Fravor, he's a former Navy commander who shot the famous Tic Tac video that you've seen. It's on YouTube. It's 60 Minutes did a special on it. He did that in 2004 during a routine training flight over the Pacific Ocean. Ryan Graves, he's a former Navy pilot. He reported multiple UAP encounters during training flights. Um, last year, the House Intelligence Committee held a hearing on UAPs. They brought in some Pentagon bureaucrats who, had, who only had two answers to the questions they were asked. I don't know, or that's classified. This hearing is going to be different. We're going to have witnesses who can speak frankly to public about their experiences. We've had a heck of a lot of pushback about this hearing. We've had members of Congress who fought us. We've had members of the intelligence community and also the Pentagon. Even NASA backed out on us. This is ridiculous, folks. They either they do exist or they don't exist. They keep telling us they don't exist, but they block every opportunity for us to get a hold of the information to prove that they do exist. And we're going to get to the bottom of it, dadgummit, whatever the truth may be. We're done with the cover-up. We're not going to bring you in a saucer or a little green man. That's not what it's going to be about. And I know, y'all, every time you play this uh, interview with one of us, you play the theme from X-Files. I get it. But the reality is the American public deserves to know. Welcome back to Total Disclosure, everyone. My name is Tom Thompson, and this is a Total News Update. This morning, the House Oversight Committee members responsible for organizing the UAP whistleblower hearing disclosed the identities of of the whistleblowers who will be testifying on July 26th and also provided a preview of what the public can anticipate during the testimony next week. Representative Tim Burchett of Tennessee confirmed on Thursday that there are three witnesses scheduled for the hearing next week. Those witnesses are Ryan Graves, a former Navy pilot and executive director of Americans for Safe Aerospace, David Fravor, a former commanding officer of the Black Aces Squadron in the U.S. Navy, and David Grush, a former National Reconnaissance Officer representative of the Unidentified Anomalous Phenomenon Task Force within the Department of Defense. A noteworthy anecdote, David Grush has denied all requests for an interview until he has had a chance to speak with Congress. The UAP that. task force was refused access to um, a broad crash retrieval program. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. I thought it was totally nuts, and I thought at first I was being deceived. It was a ruse. People started confiding in me. They approached me. I have plenty of current and former senior intelligence officers that came to me, many of which I knew almost my whole career, that confided in me they were a part of a program. They named the program. I've never heard of it. And they, they told me, based on their oral testimony, um, and they provided me documents and other, other proof, that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. Now, according to Burchette, this year's hearing will diverge from the previous one, during which all testifiers asserted that the sought-after information was classified. With the three whistleblowers now sharing their experiences, the American public can anticipate some form of an answer. Burchette mentioned that the committee has encountered significant resistance from other members of Congress, the intelligence community, and the Pentagon. Additionally, NASA has decided to withdraw its support. Who cares? They're part of the cover-up anyways. A growing number of Americans have also expressed their concerns about the extent of the U.S. government's knowledge regarding alien life. According to a recent poll by Redfield and Wilton Strategies, 57% of respondents believe that the government possesses more information than it has publicly disclosed. Representative Anna Paulina Luna from Florida criticized the government entity that obstructs the committee's investigation, stating that it fails to serve the interests of the American people. 
Rochette also asserted that the motive behind this behavior is all about retaining power and control. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 90-plus year cover-up of extraordinary proportions. This isn't the JFK assassination. This isn't Watergate. This isn't Iran-Contra. This is all of those things wrapped into one, multiplied by a billion. This is the greatest cover-up in the history of the human species. I fully believe, in my heart of hearts, that everything that Mr. Grush has been saying is true. I fully believe in my heart of hearts that there is a process that is now in play to disclose this information to the public, myself, you, the viewer, and every other person living on this planet. I cannot understate the seriousness of what is happening right now, because no matter how you cut it, no matter how you look at this, the level of seriousness has reached a fever pitch. If we were to consider the possibility that this is all some sort of ruse, then what's the end game? We're being lied to in the worst possible way imaginable. But I find myself on the latter of these two possibilities. It's just real. It's happening. And strap yourself in. It's going to be a hell of a ride. That's where we're at right now. And I'm a way more excited than the first time. Ryan Graves, David Fravor, and David Grush. David Fravor chased a UFO. Ryan Graves is one of the leading names in this effort of disclosure. And we all know David Grush has put his ass on the line to reveal this information to the American public. And there are so many different tiny little details that have been given by Lou Elizondo and other individuals that have come to fruition. We are still within that timeline that has been given. This is one of the most important moments, if not the most important moment, in the history of humanity. I mean, it really is that. That's not an understatement. It's really just as I said it. It's not hyperbole. This is that big. It's that important. All the experiencers, all of the people that were pushed to the side that were called crazy because they reported what they truthfully experienced and witnessed of the people that may have been murdered in the name of keeping this secret. It's happening, folks. This is it. We're all leading this effort on a, on a bipartisan a bipartisan basis. And, and ultimately, you know, it really is about getting to just gov greater government transparency. As, as Tim said that, you know, when we ask these questions, if the answers are, there are no unidentified aerial phenomenon, then say that. But that's not what the answers are. The answers are we can't tell you. And so that leads to speculation. And so this, this is something that has undoubtedly captured the public's attention uh, in multiple uh, administrations. And it's just finally time the U.S. government answer questions about what they know and when did they know it. Taxpayers are paying for programs that are keeping this information secret. They have a right to know where their dollars are going. Um, and with claims coming forward, as technology is getting better, people are capturing things on their phones now, right? We, we need to know whether these things are, uh, are they domestic? Uh, are they foreign? Or are they, are they something else? Or do they not exist? And the government needs to have straight answers. Claims coming forward as technology is getting better. People are capturing things on their phones now, right? We, we need to know whether these things are yours. And so the American people deserve to know the truth on this. Uh, unnecessarily censoring things or overclassification is what leads to all of these theories that have been out there. To everyone that's watching this right now, just remember, this is a representative government that works for us, not the other way around. And we must continue to demand the truth, continue to demand for transparency. Get out there and contact your local officials. Make a difference. One person, okay. Two people, okay. But it spreads. It spreads like a wildfire. Tell other people about that. Show them this video. Share this video. Leave a like if you could. If you want to really get involved with this, subscribe. Get in contact with myself, Ty, Astral. We're putting our hearts into this this means a lot to all of us and your support helps 
keep this entire thing going. The continuity of the show depends on you guys. Without the viewers, we don't have a show. So if you could, which is, we very deeply appreciate all of you, no matter who you are, no matter if you're a, a member or otherwise, but if you want to take the extra step for as low as two ninety nine a month, you can gain access to bonus content, early podcast availability, and we're going to be putting together yearly gifts autographed by myself and Ty and some surprises along the way as much as we can. We want to give back to you guys because you guys are the foundation of this show. We love talking to you. If you're listening to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts and you really, really did enjoy what you were hearing, leave a five-star review. Don't even have to say anything if you don't want to. Just hit five stars. But if you want to leave a little paragraph or a few sentences, we see it. We do our best to read all the comments because we want to know what you guys are thinking. We want to know how to improve. We want to know how to make this more entertaining and informative for you. If you or someone you know, military or civilian, have had a close encounter of the first or fourth kind or in between, and you want to share your story, you can email TylerRoberts572 at iCloud.com or DM on Twitter. And likewise, you can reach out to me on Twitter. And I, my DMs are always open. We're happy to talk to all of you. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. This story is growing larger and larger by the day. There's more and more information that seems to be coming out even by the hour. It's even hard for us to kind of keep track of things. We're doing our best, and we, we hope that you guys come to us as your source for that information. And we love all of you. We're in this together. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, and let's continue exploring the unknown together. Mm -hmm.